I think Craig Glazer, the owner, one of the owners of Stanford and Sons Comedy Club in Kansas City, is a character and a fucking half. Absolutely. Now, Craig Glazer, what's great about him, he is, and we will have this inevitably have this fight again in a few weeks when I'm there the first weekend in August. Kansas City, Kansas. Um, when I worked it, it was Kansas, Kansas. Yeah, it's, um, he is a, just a, just a notorious character. He asked me every time you have to do bits on radio, but he just goes on radio with you and does all the radio himself pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like a local celebrity. He's a, he's just a, a hilarious Hilarious, goofy character. Yeah, here we go. Craig Glazer, a man and his dog. I know I'm not gay. My wife bought him, and she was trying to like solidify our relationship. Back He's holding a dog. Age. We married, moved into this condo back in '03. By the way, I pause it. My wife. Pause it. The, and back it up a little bit. The joke I've already made, like like bullet point words. He says yeah. he's already. Did, he goes that with the condo. He said condo already. Yeah, I, it's we're, like we're I know this guy point. inside now. He's great. Like he's holding the dog, and he seems like he's describing why he has this dog. Back in 03, the irony, my wife's gone, but Junior's still here because he loves me, right? Well, he also, I don't want to do without Hold on, pause it real quick. Uh, he doesn't really have a choice. He's a dog. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, he relies on you for stuff like shelter and food. Uh, this is Buster. And uh, we amazingly ride around the Lotus and just try to pull hot puss. <laughs> Just yeah. fucking hot box in the condo. We're, right. <laughs> We're best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Only problem is Buster is a, uh, a rabid Obama supporter. And also, Not a fan of it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to point a reference also, he sort of looks like Sex Machine from <laughs> Dust Till Dawn. Tom Savini. <laughs> Would not have gotten that reference. Would not have gotten that. Oh, it's a great one. That's great. I would not have gotten it. Anyone in the room who gets it, though, is oh, getting it's it. It's gold, I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like, I've, I've, I, I, feel like I lost my man card a little bit on uh, not getting that. I'm still getting it. Oh, <laughs> See, I mean, the way Dan's, I'm like, I feel left out. I suck. Ah, dude, Sex Machine is the perfect call. All right. I'll just know him talk some more. Back a lot of nights when I'd come home and bring like bimbos over to like, you know, do weird <laughs> sex stuff. Boo! The whole nine yards. Junior would interfere. And he'd start licking him, right, Junior? And then they'd want to leave because they win that yucky dog breath on him. But in the end, I thought, well, you guys smell too, so what's the difference? Anyway, as it turned out, it worked out great because they'd Hold leave. On, time out. Don't you love how he's like, I miss my dead wife? And three seconds later, when I bring bimbos home. No, dude, he, a... is, he is 125% confidence. Yeah, dude, he is. That's so funny. He's like, I love it. He's like, you know, we're having threesomes and the dog jumps in. And I'm like, hey, get his little dog wet, dick wet. You know? <laughs> I got this bimbo. And then, you know, she comes around and like, uh, she's like, dog starts licking her ass. And I'm like, this. I'm cool with that. I've been around the world. I mean, bimbo? Where do you I'm pick a... her up? The regal beagle? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a traveler. She, <laughs> I got that reference. She, you know, she sells cigarettes on a casino floor. She's seen everything. So, uh, you know, she looks at me and she goes, your dog just licked my asshole. I go, honey, uh, that wasn't my dog. That was me. <laughs> That's how I get down, baby. I come in, I spread the cheeks, and I tongue fuck your butthole. I'm like, if you're going to party, baby, we're going to party. I mean, we came all the way here in a Lotus. I don't pay all that money a month for that car to not tongue your butthole. Can I assume you're going to return the favor. I will get you an Uber home. <laughs> Kansas is such a flat, a flat state that if you don't eat ass, it's like a, you know, move up to Colorado or do something. You know, Lewis and Clark came through here. I didn't pull it out for air. Suck it. <laughs> now, Lewis and Clark uh, pulled up, set up port. Go play it. <laughs> Get rid of So Junior and I can watch TV the rest of the night. I mean, what do you do with these bims when you're done banging them? They're worthless. Right, Junior? Bims. <laughs> Junior. God damn it. Get back up here. Uh, that's an old dog, too. What do you do with these bims? Dude. Hashtag think about it. Think about it. Think about it. That's, That's great. Is there episode two? Uh, go ahead and play it. Man and his dog episode two. They're only a minute long each. The first one was a cliffhanger. Yeah. So when people come over and find out they have these little dogs and cat, the, you know, they, I don't know, because these, these, this little docks and they like to lick. They like to lick you all over your body. And these girls will be spending the night you know, unfortunately, I have multiple girlfriends. You know, I've never learned that from my wife or before her. I've just settled down. He's not one. kidding. They're all crazy. But anyway, what I've noticed is they're all very curious. Like, you know, I was in prison, and what did they want to know? You know, did you get banged in the butt in prison? Well, of course not. But they all want to ask. That's the first question. Well, when they see the dog licking your legs and getting close to your 
you know, your dick and their butt. Well, what do you think they think? They go, oh my God, you let that dog suck your dick till you come? And I go, and that never happens. crime if I do. Junior, get back up here. <laughs> he said trigger. That is. You know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of the guy from Windy City Heat. Where you're like, are you in on the joke? <laughs> he's get... sort of like is, but he's not. But I'm like, do you get that it's like... Um... How many views does it have? 9,000, this one. Christ. You know when a dog's blowing you. Oh, a different shirt. Oh, Ooh. yeah, this is great. Dude, I love there's that two, he's there's just... two more short parts. It almost looks like he's just abusing his dog. Like, he's like, hey, come here. Sit next to me. There's two I more short you. parts. Two more short parts. Also, I love that he always wears poker sunglasses. Like, he's about to go oh. to the Tinted purple. Yeah. What's he doing? A man is dog episode three. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're the best baby. You're the best baby. And he's a boy dog. You ready? So I don't remember her name, but she had huge boobs. She was a dancer. What a shock! All right, she was a stripper. So she'd never been on the plaza or eaten the Capitol Grill. And you know, at that time, I had a lotus. And I was telling, and, and, and Junior gets involved later in the story, but. But, you know, I promised to take her to Capitol Grill. If you've ever been to the Plaza, Capitol Grill is one of the nicest restaurants, but it has a bar dining area in front. And if you're going to spend real money, they seat you in the back. Well, I go in with jeans and a ripped t shirt. She's got her boobs hanging out, black check figures. So, you know, everybody's staring at me, wondering how much she costs. <laughs> so then they seat me in the front. This bitch, I told her just to order me, a, you know, one drink and a salad. I see a friend of mine, Mike Rozo, the guy that owns Rozo, and another tech guy. We go up front. No, I'm not connected to anybody. But anyway, so we're talking out in front, and a half hour goes by. I come back in. The table is full of food. I mean, lobster tails, filet mignon, bottles of wine. I, I'm not making this up, guys. It looked like a buffet for the Kansas City Chiefs. And I said, is this my table? The waitress went, yeah. And I go, who's all this food for? She goes, sir, I assume you and your date. I'm on my date. I mean, Buffalo woman, she's sitting there eating like the Comanche Indians are coming. So I get a bill for over, I'm not making this up nor exaggerating, over $300 for the meal. And we haven't even had That's not that yet. bad. That's my bar tab. Have you seen me? Let me pause that. That's not that bad. Uh, I really hate him complaining about his Kansas City money. $300? You know, that cost me $14 and a ticket on a bus. A buffet of lobster tail flame and young? You have $300? I come back. There's an entire roasted pig on the table. <laughs> There's also 14 bottles of Ace Champagne. Ace. I look over, I go, how much does this cost? They go, Sixty dollars. I go. I can't cover that. They put this black stripper in a cauldron. We're all dancing around it. Uh, I, uh, it turns out they have her in an illegal underground mandingo fight. <laughs> I come back in. The boobs are out. Of course, this bim's taping up her knuckles. Bim. She's crack. She's cracking her nuts. <laughs> She's cracking her neck. She's getting ready to turn loose, as black chicks often do. <laughs> <laughs> Let it roll. Deal. And we haven't even had a drink yet. And I am pissed. And she goes, You're mad at me. Well, obviously, what is she doing, guys? Junior. She's trying to order all the stuff to take home so she has a refrigerator full of lobster and flame and yum for the rest of her life, I guess. So we get in the car. I'm not for $300? Hang on, and pause go, this. Oh, yeah. If you can feed a black stripper for the rest of her life for $300 of filet mignon lobster tail, yeah, just do it. Yeah, she's not a Chinese fighting fish. <laughs> <laughs> but it does show just I like... I got this girl. I treat her like I got a new beta. <laughs> you know, I, just, I put her in a glass of water. I put another black stripper in a glass of water, and I let them look at each other. It's a oh, Siamese shit. fighting fish. Back up a little, a little tiny bit. She wants to keep uh, lobster for oh, life. Dude, this is, that's... <laughs> she says, she goes, you're mad. Well, obviously, what is she doing, guys, Junior? She's trying to order all the stuff to take home since so she has a refrigerator full of lobster and filet mignon for the rest of her life, I guess. So we get in the car, I'm not talking. She goes, you're never going to take me out again, are you? And I go, probably not, because you're, you know, a bitch and an asshole. And she goes, I'm really sorry. What can I do to make it up to you? And I go, nothing. Well, you could, like, find another chick and bring her over. I guess that would, like, you know less than the blow of that $300 food bill before he got to the liquor. We get home. Of course, what happens next, guys? Junior tell her. She couldn't get a hold of one girl. I had to call a girl. This girl comes over, crazy Carrie, the porn star, and she's, she couldn't even walk across the parking lot. It's 3 in the morning. The black chick, 
the stripper. She was good looking. Totally naked. I couldn't get her naked, but when she saw the girl, she wanted to be naked. I get crazy carrying. She's with a driver. She goes, he's my driver. He looked young. He was 18. I go, who's this teenage kid you brought in? Just, you know, watch me and do a threesome in front of She goes, don't worry. He's my son. He's seen me do it before. What? Yeah. Wait. What? You so, have, dude, hashtag think about it, bro. Yeah, think, uh, about, think, think about, about it. Think about how much damage has been done to that 18-year-old kid. It God, should be hashtag try to forget about it. Did he yeah. just describe the music video for uh, On the Road Again? Uh, oh, turn the page. Turn the Metallica? page, Metallica. I do my yeah. life whatever I want to. I have filet mignon I love to. I do it for the money, and no one can tell me that they can raise their kid any bit. Well, we might, clo <laughs> we might as well close it out. Do oh, that. never mind. There's there's several more. Yeah, there's oodles more. There's oodles more. You don't do a season. It sounds like no. I think, I think there's five total. It's not an IMC series. He did like thirteen eps. Come on. These are not getting worse, by the way. <laughs> They're getting better. They're getting hey, better. that was the one that had the the lotus. He said the lotus. Oh yeah. You, you know, Bim Lotus. It's like everyone's got your keyword I'm in it. A, I'm hot to trot. I get this girl. Now she takes a dump in the parking lot. <laughs> I pick it up. We have a snowball fight. Okay. I think here's we can go. Happens. I think we can go straight. Watch the last two, and then we wrap to wrap the show. It's but crazy. Also, here's what happens. I involve myself in a major cocaine deal. Now, I'm all yacked up. I got a Filipino hishi behind me with a gun <laughs> pointed at my back. <laughs> Right? I look over, I go, hey, you ever been to the Capitol Grill? I'm a pretty big deal in Kansas City. The Filipino Ishii looks at me and goes, money now, you die. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I know, two colored girls just get in my car. Now, I stopped at a red light, these, they just get in. These bims are hot. <laughs> now, clearly these chicks are prostitutes, <laughs> but... You know, I'm known around town. People kind of dig my style. They feel my flavor. Before I know it, they're not charging me. <laughs> I'm going down on one while I'm finger blasting the other. Now, you know what I call that? I call that the cornucopia. <laughs> because you're in your faces with all the fruit, but then your tail is where it really matters. <laughs> all right. Let's do these last two. I know people are like, I hate videos, but right. you can hear no, this. No, 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 no. This does not listen. The video. He says, he's petting a dog we'll, the entire time. We'll, we'll, tweet yeah. a, we'll tweet out a picture of Craig. God. We'll tweet these actual videos out, but you'll see it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you're listening. You're laughing at the you're same listening. thing. We're laughing. This is yeah. worth it. We're not it, watching yes. people fall down. We're watching this guy talk about banging bims. Yeah, and if you're not sure, he looks exactly like he sounds. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got these tinted shades on. And this scruff and this pockmarked skin. I got a. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just ate shit. That was awesome. Okay, here we go. I just want to switch seats so I can watch these. This last isn't episodes. some Rick Astley reveal like the yeah. first time he had never want to give you up. Like never that, what? Yeah, that's a white guy. Keep, never gonna give. Ah, oh, these are fucking roll it. Go. He's got two dogs. Two dogs now. And this is Coco and this is Junior. Junior was my first dog that my wife bought so we'd have a long-lasting marriage. I know. And it would all work out. And she told me it would last forever. Forever's four and a half years. Anyway, Hi. then I... Uh, Pause real quick. He's, uh, he's still holding on to that one, huh? Yeah. I don't oh, think yeah. it brings it up enough. Oh, Do you think things. she's like, hey, can you stop talking about me in your web series? <laughs> oh, I <laughs> thought she was dead. Oh, can dude, please, yeah. Can you please stop? I'm sorry to interrupt, because this just got weird. There was a different case. Junior was my first dog that my wife bought so we'd have a long-lasting marriage, and it would all work out. And she told me it would last forever, forever four and a half years. Anyway, then I uh, had another girlfriend that dropped this little chihuahua pup off named Coco. Her name is Chocolate Becky, and uh, she promised she'd come back. She dropped him on Friday and get him Monday. That was four years ago. Oh, see how Junior is? So I tried to get these two to be buddies, maybe boyfriend, girlfriend, because he's a boy dog, she's a girl dog. But they're, what do you call them? They're spaded? What are they? There's another word, stereo. They cut neutered. off their nuts. Neutered, that's it. Neutered and spaded. So, but, you know, you know, I know they're dogs. neutered and spayed, but I still try to get them to fuck. It's I put spayed, a, I put, by the way. Spayed is what he did with chocolate black sunday that <laughs> left him the dog. Here's what I do is uh, I get an industrial-sized rubber band, and I <laughs> slap it around both of them. Now, I can't put their parts in each other, but I kind of hope, you know, lead a horse to water. I play some music. 
I got a sound system with the speakers are in the walls. You know, those types, so that's pretty cool. I have a I have a Sono system, so wherever I play in the house, it plays through all the house speakers. Have you ever seen a you ever seen a fireplace controlled by a, by a remote control? <laughs> I just downloaded the new album. Now that's what I call music for dogs to fuck to, Volume One. Now again, I got a whole drawer full of these industrial rubber bands. So oh, I snap yeah, out of one, yeah. I just put another one on. Them. If they fuck, I give them three hundred dollars of leftover food from the last <laughs> video. Remember that three hundred dollars thing? Well, I keep that in a pit out back. I just feed them all this old meat. <laughs> you know what? We may have to put, we may have to stop this one and leave it as a to be continued. TBT. Because yeah, we don't have time to watch both. All right, let's just watch this one. We can finish this one. You can't tease me. I got to see what happens with these two dogs in the rubber band. Reminds me of stories. My birthday, and nobody bought me a cake. Can you believe it? So uh, this girl I kind of see. Her and her mom came to my own comedy club, Stanford, since they came to the hey, hey. show. They were they were thrilled. They had a free dinner. You know, they didn't have very much money. It was a big deal. They wore their Sunday best. So then they came over and had Junior and Coco. Well, the uh, young girl who was 25 wanted to take a shower because, you know, she wanted to have sex. Oh, you don't want to hear the rest of the story, Junior? Like, so, so, you know, Coco, you're a good girl. So the other lady, her mom, who was about 45, Went in the bathroom to go to the bathroom, I assume, and I'm waiting here right where I'm sitting right now. The mother came out naked and said, for your birthday, I'm going to give you a blowjob. Now, I've done a lot of threesomes and crazy stuff in my life, but I've never done a mother-daughter team. The young girl was hot in the 20s. The mom was, yeah, okay, but I went, you know what? We'll mark it off the bucket list. So I didn't want to upset anyone, so I sat down and let her give me, nee, 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 right? The dogs were watching. It was kind of weird. And then the young girl came out and slapped her mom in the butt. And we were done, and I, you know, shot my willy, forgave her, you know, whatever. You know, I really didn't want to hang out with them anymore, but I wanted to be polite. You got to be polite, right? It was my birthday one. Hey, girls, if you want to go back to my bedroom and all lay down naked, we can do that. And the young girl looks at me and she goes, What kind of a girl do you think I am? That's my mother, goddammit! Wow. I do not want to see his bucket list. No, Dude, that's I do so bad. Yeah, that's that's a J bucket list. I want to make a fuck, I want to make another web series where I take him around to do his bucket list stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, it's like that Morgan Freeman movie where yeah. you're just doing you're just living out all your stuff. I want to drive through a black 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 Lives Matters protest with a Mack truck. <laughs> make it happen, Jay. I want black Jay, face. Get on, get on that. I, I need you to get on that as I fast want, as possible. I want to skydive completely buck naked. <laughs> And land on a mother-daughter team. Oh, so shit. I look at her and I go, where's your father? And she goes, he died in the first Gulf War. And I go, there was only 79 casualties, so your dad sucks at war. <laughs> anyway, uh, Gina... grandma's sucking me off. The aunt comes in. Oh. So, it, it, it all stories are the aristocrats. Do you know he and Donald Trump are like the same person? Yeah, they just say crazy shit to get reactions. I think he is a... Uh, a narcissist. Mm. Like, kind of a uh, oh, lying think? narcissist. Oh, you mean a man who I put out eight I do videos? love Craig Glazer. I'm so sorry. I. I really do. But I, I do, too. He, he, and I don't think he would... The thing is, narcissists don't care if you talk badly about... They just don't believe it. Well, they want you and I'm not about. saying anything... Yeah, I'm not saying anything bad. Craig, I think you... Uh, he's going to listen to this because someone's going to tell him and... He That's, likes people talking about him. Yeah, well, this but, is perfect. That's why we're going to watch his videos. He's, okay. He, he I just want to, I don't a, want him character. being like, you know, Nikki Glazer. She was, she used to be cool and now she threw us under the bus. She used to want to suck my brick. I said no for years. <laughs> and this year I was getting ready to let her do it. And then she just Did fucked it all. Ever? I said, do three seasons on cable. <laughs> and then I'll let you dip it in. He, he exaggerates your credits. He's like, really? he said oh. I've been on SNL. Like I like I'm walking on the stage being like I have. My favorite. I'm one the was... next Ellen DeGeneres. I'm like that is so not who I am. <laughs> you dance a lot. You do dance a lot. <laughs> I remember when I, when I worked this club. Uh, when I like driving, he's like, "What else you got going on?" I'm like, "Well, I uh, I just like I'm writing this animated pilot with the co-head writer of SNL, oh. but it's like super under wraps. So like, don't." And then I someone sent me a blog post. My manager's like, "Hey, Craig, this guy Craig Glazer's saying everyone about your deal." I was like, what? He's like, he told me he's writing a show that's going to start this. And I'm like, I didn't tell you any of that shit. Dude, I had to tell him, I had to tell him and everyone in the chain of command of that club five times that I, in fact, have never toured with the insane clown posse. <laughs> 
They just put that on there with me. Yeah, is that what you're right? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh my God! Let's Every go poster said that first and foremost. He's like, he likes strippers and shit. Yeah, yeah, he does. He's like, I like pretty women. I like them young. So what are you gonna do? Strippers. And <laughs> like, all- is that the only way that works out? <laughs> well, got it's you know good solution to his all problem. young pretty girls are strippers. <laughs> Everyone knows that. And they all love giving HJs and lotuses. <laughs> <laughs> Christine at play. <laughs> Is it the owner whose name is Fitzy? It's your son whose name is Polly. Polly and I have become good friends over the years. And back in the 90s, Polly worked Stanford Sons of Westport a lot. But in the beginning, it was a little rocky because Polly's kind of, you know, thinks he's a big deal. So I got to say one thing for Polly Shore. While a lot of people may not dig a stand up, and I, I can't be funny when he wants to be. Ladies, man, guys, no one got more girls than this guy, and I'm pretty good at it. This was our heyday. This was the 90s. So Polly's up in my office, and we're kind of auditioning a long line. Is he supposed to be telling the dogs a story? Yeah, but pull that back about 10 seconds, because I just want to hear the long line of women that are lining up for Craig Glazer and Polly Shore. Oh, I bet it is great. Oh, I bet there's a couple real just blown out tire stomachs somewhere. Chicks with that little bouffant in the front, and they're wearing bowling shirts. Oh, it's lime green lipstick. Stick. <laughs> like, I'm gonna fuck tonight. The 90s. So, Polly's up in my office, and we're kind of auditioning a long line. And I mean, every girl's in the mini skirt, they're all eights and nines. And of course, one of the hottest ones is a little Italian 19 year old girl that I was dating at the time. And we all get the line on me. The and hottest one's funny. the one he was dating. Dude, this guy is great. I'm He's the watching, best. I'm watching Nikki's face, it's just so fucking good. She's <laughs> like, I cannot damn. believe this. What he is, he is not talking to the dogs. The dogs is, he was just like, how do I tell my stories? Yeah. And then they were like, let's just have you be telling stories of the dog. The music in the background and the cuts. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you don't understand. Well, the, the dogs, dogs are the dogs, being held against their will. The, yeah, the dogs are constantly trying to escape his grip. <laughs> <laughs> It's nonstop. <laughs> oh my god! The dogs are trying to take off. Oh, look at him! He's with the seven, and he has to, you know, steal my thunder. And he leans over and he goes, "Dude, dude, dude! I heard you did movies, yeah, man." And I went, "Yeah, I've done a few movies. I've been in movies." He goes, "What were you like, kind of an extra or something?" You know, I star in my movies. And I go, "I know that, Polly." But at least my movies were A movies. Anyway, so the the girl that I was with, he wanted, and he said, um, she came up to me later that night. I'm like, how many girls do you need? She goes, well, they've invited me to a party. It's already 3 in the morning. We're at a dance club in Westport. And the level's out. We're going to dance club. He's manhandling the party. <laughs> oh, my I'm God. Go, you know, this party. Junior, God home. damn it. You know, I fuck it up my two shot. I feel like the whoever's filming this and editing it is not on his side. No, they're, 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 <laughs> they focus on the animal <laughs> cruelty. <laughs> <laughs> no, they know where the they know where the goods are. I mean, the one on the right looks like a Sarah McLaughlin, one of the Sarah McLaughlin commercials. Oh my god! My favorite is my favorite is when, right when the dog thinks it's getting away, he just mushes it into his chest. That was aggressive. Stay here. I'm talking about getting puss. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, that was a great repel, impression. Nothing repels these dogs like my stories of puss. Because <laughs> they have to be in the room to watch it. Yeah, he goes, he goes, yeah. Oh, those goes, dogs have seen and then so I put my, much. And then, I, and then I put my hand in her. The very hands I hold these dogs with. <laughs> they don't like it, because, you know. Let's hear, let's hear the end here. You know what, if you want to be a Polly that bad, go ahead and go to their party. So uh, I drove by the party a little later. Oh, good job. And the party was Polly, and then what I want to call my ex-girlfriend. What a sad story. That was Polly Shore just fucked your girlfriend? Dude, That's that the was story? such a sad story. And by the, by way, the way, the end says hashtag think about it after every one. Like that, uh, by the way, like that's going to be sweeping. Twitter. But I love the fact that that what's, was What's episode a... eight called? We, uh, we can watch one more. I mean, these are actually amazing. Oh, they're priceless. <laughs> they are. <laughs> are you kidding? He's itch- really on to something We've here. Been itching to oh, watch. I called These are Jay. Amazing. I called Jay on the road and just had him do Craig Glazer just to make me laugh in my hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> he was crying. <laughs> <He's laughs> Black Barbie was waking there. up my kids. Oh, yes. I, I know the story. I know the story actually. Ooh, ooh, he has kids. No. The other dog died. <laughs> Hey, we're back for an episode of the What the fuck was that? I always <laughs> like for these stories to have 
be some type of moral lesson. Things you guys can learn from an experienced bachelor, entrepreneur. Is my son entrepreneur? Is that <laughs> Get over it, young shit. If he does this to these dogs on camera, what does he do when he's alone? I don't know. Get over it, Craig. He grabbed. Okay, if you're not. You're not watching. Uh, by the way, follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat to see these videos. This is Steve's episode eight. He grabs this dog so hard. I thought he was going to grab a script or something. He, <laughs> like, a, like a like a he like, a, it by like a lion cub. <laughs> it wasn't. Hey, can you hand me that old shoe? <laughs> oh, oh, it's my just my God. dog. <laughs> oh, what's that? The dog howled when he did it. Wait, yeah. Play it go back. I can't even watch that again. That makes me so sad. Hold on, you got to watch it because it's. Oh my God. <laughs> There it is. Get over it, y'all. Oh, no. Oh, but he kisses it. He kisses it. Look at it. Runs away. He really, he really, he really uh, abusive husband, that dog. <laughs> I was like, hey, you're hurting me. He goes, you know, my baby, you know I love you, baby. I'm getting I there mean, that some was meat. not good. You're my one. You're my only. You're my only one for sure. For real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. This is amazing. Yeah. She went to the club name Whispers out by legend, which is in Kansas City, Kansas. That should have been my first clue. Plus, I told all my friends about her, and she was gorgeous, a little skinny girl. She just looked like a little baby, and you wanted to save her. And everyone said, you're out of your mind. She has not one, not two, but three children out of wedlock. None of them are yours, and they're little kids, and they're mixed. I don't know why the huge question. None of them are yours? And they're mixed. He had to throw that in. Yeah, he really does. Half Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so you know they're not pure. I they're not them, airy. I call, oh my them, God. I call them Nick bits. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> so we had a pretty serious relationship. I was totally loyal to her, and I'm thinking, how can I make this work? At the time, we're thinking of opening a Stanford. So that's my college. Hey, it's me, your step pop, Craig Glazer. So I was going to L.A. I just sold my movie, The Book, The King's Day. And at that time, it was going to be written for a uh, man at Disney. And I was going to work with the writer, other writer, David Young. I was flying into L.A. And uh, I was all excited. But I thought I'd surprise Nikki, who I trusted because I knew she was loyal. And she was a stripper of the heart of gold. So my manager, David, was dropping me off at the airport. It was about 10 or 11 o'clock at night. I go, let's stop by because you live kind of bad neighborhood. I lived in a good neighborhood. I really didn't want to drive over there. But, you know, I want to say goodbye. Surprise her. We pull up to the wall apartment complex. I run up the steps, right, Coco? And um, knock on the door to give her a kiss goodbye on the way to the airport to L.A. That's about 10.45 p.m. The door opens. There's a guy 6'5 in the doorway. It wasn't Nikki. He goes, you're waking up my kids. And I'm like, what? And I look at the apartment number. I go, I'm at the wrong apartment. Dave goes, you're not at the wrong apartment. Let's go. I had a couple of cocktails at the car on the way to the airport. And I go, what do you mean? And the guy goes, you're waking up my kids. And I'm like, what? And Dave goes, let's go. Because then I see what's coming back. I said, wait a minute. This guy's, oh my God, this guy's with my girlfriend. He's in there doing the dirty stuff with poor little Nikki. My girlfriend, and I'm on the way to L.A. to do this million dollar deal. And she's like, run, upset me. So um, she called me later that night and swore that it was her baby's daddy. And he was just watching the kids. And, you know, that she wasn't there. And she was out drinking, right? You want to believe him because you love him, right? So you wouldn't believe she left her kids to go drink. Yeah, yeah with, <laughs> with the guy that she left, who also is the who father seems, of those kids. Yeah, yeah. You want to believe it. Oh, my God. Did you go by my house? That's so weird. My baby's daddy was there babysitting while I was just putting one on. <laughs> oh, you thank You got God. me. I believe in hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> this. I love you, so I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you this time. <laughs> You're the king of sing. What, what story. is this? What is this? Who is this? That's Black Barbie. Oh. That's Black Barbie. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Is he still seeing her? Uh, he says it's his number one girlfriend, I think. Oh, number yeah. one? His main one. Oh, okay. I hope she doesn't slip in the polls. It's complicated. Yeah. Eating at a restaurant, and she was on her knees telling me she swore in her baby's lives that she would lie. She was not sleeping with that guy. When she left to go to the bathroom, the waitress came over, and she goes, are you Craig Glazier? And I went, yeah. And she goes, I'm her neighbor. I babysit for her. She wanted me to lie for her, but I'm a good Christian. She said, when you pounded on the door, her baby's daddy had his pants down, and they were in bed together, and she didn't know what to do, and she wanted me to lie for her. So how did it end? 
I was letting her use my Mercedes, a used car. Yeah, we picked that car up. That's the car we drive the comedians around in today. I don't see Nikki anymore. A lion little bitch. Right, Coco? What? <laughs> he is taking his anger out on the dog. Yeah. Uh, th- this is like... Think, think about it. Send think it to about PETA. It. Hashtag think about it, Nikki. Think about yeah, what those Nikki, dogs go But for real, though? Think about it. But, like, are you thinking about it? Hold on. I mean, just... You got to learn your lesson. You know, I'm, I, I, can't, I can't, I can't, leave, I can't it. leave it open this much. You got to play episode seven. You want to? You want seven? Yeah, you don't yeah, want and, then we'll ta- and then we'll take a commercial. Is and seven we'll, that and we'll, good? Is seven? I don't know. We don't have know. you guys seen all of these? No, no, no. Oh, okay. We're watching. No, we, we were, we're up learning. to six. So okay. This is I, a, so we, we got to do I seven. I go to the door. He comes to the house. He comes to the door holding his dick in his hand. He I goes, pe- you're waking up my kid. That's good. I throw the dog at him. <laughs> the dog's there. The dog's biting on his knees. <laughs> anyway. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh, they just had to kick the dog a couple times for that sound bite. <laughs> oh my god, that dog. frail. Looks starving. Hey, it's time for Ann and his dog. And my two best friends and my live in buddies, Junior, who I had for over 13 years of miniature dogs, and Coco, the Chihuahua pup that Chocolate Becky loved before we came out of that. He always calls it Chocolate, anyway, chocolate you Becky. You gotta be careful when you use appliances, guys, especially when they're related to having sex. Back okay. in LA, and I wrote this in my book, The King of Stay. I had a little girl used to come over, really cute, great figure, I remember long, dark black hair, but she party, 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 partied so hard she would pass out. One given night, I bought, you know, you know everybody has these vibrators that have the batteries and all that, and yeah. like kind of a dildo. I know the type. All right, here's the deal. I'll give you a trip. Don't use Hold those. on, pause use it, the Christine. Board. Christine, pause it. Uh, you should be as Jiminy Cricket. You are as conscious. <laughs> yeah. I have Slow to just down, say. Greg. Slow down. I'm impressed at the length of these videos. They're like actually a good length. Oh, whoever's because, doing this, first off, is great at editing. Right. Because when he just said that party, 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 yeah, till she passed out, that was a good. That was but almost no an Eric one, Andre cut. No one has enough restraint to make anything on YouTube under three minutes, and Craig Glazer has done it. I will applaud him for how so quick you, these videos are. So you think he's they could gonna, go viral. Chocolate Becky, Black Barbie, dildos, dogs there. <laughs> That's my old That's yeah, my Yeah, please, elevator please pitch. be his. Uh, yeah, Jimmy Cricket. Lotus high five, high five, banging bitches, dogs, <laughs> banging bitches, dog. Jeff's there, Dad. Westport. <laughs> I just, I just imagine him in a, in, a, in like a conference DJ room. DJ Miller. Him in a conference room, going, shut your eyes. <laughs> now, two dogs, me, leather couch. <laughs> he is a stories. Legends Mall. TJ Miller. <laughs> Lewis Black, Larry the Cable Guy, before he's famous, Dave Attell, <laughs> said I was one of his favorites. Dave Attell brought me on stage, opened in a theater, did a thing, Lotus. <laughs> $300 worth of steak. That's a lot. <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> Girls oh take advantage, God. bang strippers, Lotus, Denny's, Morning Radio, Johnny Dare. That's that, <laughs> He's always in a feud with Johnny Dare. Johnny Dare hates me because I laughed when he asked me if I was going to go see Jackal that night in <laughs> 2014. <laughs> and you laughed right in his face. And I laughed. I go, no, no, I'm not. He's like, what's so, what's wrong with that? I go, nothing, man. But it's like, you know, you said it with such confidence. Like, I was definitely going to go see Jackal tonight. <laughs> and he's like, what's wrong with Jackal? I'm like, nothing's wrong with Jackal. I mean, and he goes, oh, and, you know, Jackal's, uh, the lead singer Jackal's best friends with Johnny Dare. I go, all right, but Johnny Dare should know. Like, why would you set somebody up to be in that position? Like, you're not right. asking me if I'm going to go see fucking Billy Joel yeah. at right. the thing or even the like, Guns and Roses. You know, so it's like, Jackal? Jackal. <laughs> no, lead, I'm all right. The lead singer. I'm not seeing uh, Dawkins or Warrant either. Jack, the lead singer of Jackal, uh, he owes Johnny Dare 20 bucks. <laughs> So he's pretty- Jackal's there, Johnny Dare, 95.1, <laughs> today's country music. Chocolate Becky. Chocolate Becky, Panera Bread, Denny's, Lotus. <laughs> Talk about the dogs. Use Mercedes, dogs there. Junior. Uh, everyone, uh, update, I've kicked Junior retarded. So... <laughs> Turns out he was dead. Episode four. <laughs> Junior died. Dog's here. Babe's here. Choking this dog. Pretend it's Black Becky. Chocolate Barbie. <laughs> I treat the dog like it's a bim. <laughs> dog's a bim. Right, let's play one What's more a bim? Hey, bimbo. Use oh. the plug-in ones, right, Junior? Use the plug-in ones that are you know, electric. You know why? Bang. Stronger. Bang. It's got a big head on it, I should show you, and it looks like a back massager. Yeah. Yeah, the maid. Well, that way, when the maid comes.
comes and she's cleaning up, you're not embarrassed when she's got like a big penis dildo. You go, oh, that's the back massager. We know it's for sex, but it's a cover-up story. All right, so I have this out, and the top's got a big bulbous rubber head, right, Coco? Then there's a metal thing that holds the rubber thing, and that thing goes crazy when you plug it in, and then there's the long, you know, whatever you want. That, that is kind of vibrating thing. All right, so I plug it in. I have the girl back in the bedroom. Jean, I think was her name. I'm doing everything crazy. We're having sex. Bring out the uh, vibrator. She lays it on herself. But I remember the head was getting loose on it, and she had passed out. When I'm making this late night dinner, I'm trying to be a good guy. I'm trying to be polite. I'm trying to take care of her. So I go out and get the food, and I think... I smell bacon burning, right? And I went, I didn't make any bacon. Oh my God, it wasn't bacon. The rubber head had come off the vibrator and the thing was vibrating and it was almost on fire. It was like a hot poker coal. She passed out, it was laying on her pussy and her pussy was being cooked. Wow, so I did all I could. I threw on, I had to take her to the hospital. I don't know if they sewed her pussy shut or not. I never saw her again. But I'll tell you what, I don't need bacon. Either. Rubberhead, plug in appliances, pussy cooked. That story, if it's true, is fucking insane. You know what's funny? Uh, me and Christine were the owners of a plug in magic wand thing. Yeah. And at one point, member started fucking firing, s fired sparks out. What? What? <laughs> yeah, dangerous. Wait a second. I Singed bush. That's like my favorite thing. It it really it malfunctioned. Yeah. Well, you, yeah. Better hope you get a good one. Send us a new one. They Turns out they can go wonky. Oh, they sent you a new one. They end up sending a new one. That's but nice. It's, it's kind of scary. I go in there. She's half on fire. It's a pussle fire. She's on fire. Puss cook. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped her off at the hospital. Never saw her again. Deep fried pussy. I don't know if they. Sewn up pussy. Lotus dog. <laughs> Sewn up. Deep fried pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's so goddamn funny. <laughs> She's there. Plug in. Sizzle clip. Hospital. <laughs> I don't think we watched Maria. I don't even want to know what Maria is. Oh, God. I, well, missed, we're gonna find I, out. I really miss these. Oh, what a good treat. All right, ready? Hi, welcome to A Man and His Dog. We should call it A Man and His Dogs, plural, because I have two dogs. The original dog on the show, Junior, the little miniature dog, he just, who I love, and Coco, who I got years later. Coco's seven and Junior's 13. Coco's a girl dog. She's a chihuahua. And they sleep with me every night, and they love me to death. They never want to leave my side, right, Junior? Well, today I thought we would talk about Pause it real quick. prison... Oh, God, that was almost oh, great. Already, this is going to be so great. Um, the editing, they're doing a new editing trick, which is almost giving me vertigo. Yeah, word to word. It just slammed. They're doing, they're doing chop cuts Yeah, they're doing every MT third word. They're doing MTV Sports chop cuts, and it's making my head hurt. A man and his dog with Dan Cortez. Yeah, we're going to go stream. We're going to shave the dog. Code Red Mountain Do. <laughs> uh, hit play again. Sex. That's right. As many of you know that know the Craig Glacier story for my book, The King of Sting, which many of these Whichever stories are actually in the book um, that we're talking about. Photos of some of the characters. But uh, tonight we're going to talk about prison sex. When I went to prison for money laundering in the mid-80s, I was first sent to a prison called Terminal Island. That's in Long Beach, California. <laughs> it's actually on a I was getting butt fucked. Dogs were there. <laughs> Guy bent me over, called me a bitch, plowed at my shitter. Dogs there. <laughs> Dogs there. I'm a male bim. Maria Bamford. Another yeah. something. Met the cable guy. Yeah, Dar Dave Attell. Booked at the club. I'm in the, I'm in the slammer. Getting pinned. Dogs are there. <laughs> male bim. I'm the bim. I'm his bim. <laughs> I'm a bim. He's a bam. Boom, bam. Bip, bam, boom. He's a murderer. I'm his bim. <laughs> Laid a couple back pancakes. Moved on. Dog's there. <laughs> I wanted to drive out a long kind of pier to the prison. And boy, does it look like Alcatraz. That gothic, tall, you know, uh, walls with the guards with the weapons at the gate. 
and up in the, the dogs towers. Very scary. don't want to be there. The dogs were not there. <laughs> yeah. Even Dog. though my two dogs are therapy dogs, you can't bring them into the prison system. Turns out prison, prisoners aren't allowed to therapy You can't bring them into the prison system. They gave me a life sentence. Turns out that was four years. <laughs> guess what else I couldn't bring? April Macy. Wah, wah. <laughs> Here's the thing is, he's just clearly holding those dogs there against their will. They yeah. want to go away so bad. It's just that becomes half One's of the biting thing. his thumb. Yeah. The other one's just begging to die. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat if you want to watch the videos we're talking about. Uh, keep, keep it rolling, Christine. But I'm not going to have time right now to go deep into the prison stuff. I want to skip right to the sex stuff. Right when I got to prison, you're allowed to have visitors, and you got to write them down. They either have to be a family member, or it could be, if you're engaged, a, a dog. dog. <laughs> so I was engaged to Miss uh, Puerto Rico, Miss Universe. Her name is Maria Portia. I'm going to say her whole name because I hope she sees this. Anyway. I... I really want to f look her up, Jacob. Look her up right now. I want to know if that's a real person. Maria Portia? Maria Portia sounds like a made-up girlfriend that goes to another high school. Port Miss Puerto Rican oh, America? Oh, my girlfriend's so beautiful, you've never seen Tracy Lamborghini? <laughs> <laughs> You never see my girl. Her name's Tits Kawasaki Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> you never met my girlfriend Boobs on. <laughs> She's so hot. Yeah. You just get as you can already get. Uh, this is my friend, Breasts Maserati. <laughs> Maria was gorgeous. Big busted girl. Very pretty. I, I wanted to tell I'd give her a nine point. Nine point seven. Oh, well, well, so really. I had this beautiful girlfriend. I found out you could have visits Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, sometimes on Sunday. So Maria was going to come see me. Now, she did see me early on before I came up with this brilliant idea of how to have sex with her in the visitor room. So what happened was all the other convicts and inmates saw her, and, and they all said the same thing. Hold oh, the fuck fuck on. Yeah, I'll pause that back, because that is a man dealing with his past. In his face. He goes, so they all saw her and were like, we're going to fuck this shit out of you later. <laughs> yeah, we're going to hate fuck you for getting to fuck her. He probably shouldn't be trying to get her stink on him. That's going to make him rape him harder yeah. later that night. He might as well, he's covering himself. It's like the opposite of when you cover yourself in deer pee. You smell like a lady. He's like, <laughs> yeah. no, fella, that's not a, uh, what? You think there's a lady, lady on me? No, no, all man here, all man here. I just shit my own butt cheeks. <laughs> That's probably what you're smelling. No way. I don't smell like a... No. I don't, I don't smell like Miss Universe. No. What do no, you mean? No, no, that's not me. <laughs> oh, Puerto Rican Miss Universe? No. Oh, no, I know. That's, you smell boobs. No, yeah, I had a, I had a, a roast con pollo for dinner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I must have shook hands with one of the lunch ladies. Oh, I said, no, no. That lady don't. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Play that again, because you're watching this zone That out. pause. He shakes his head off. Is she about 20? And I went, yeah. And I was the ripe old age of 28. So they said, look, how long are you doing? I want to have a seven year sentence, but I think I'll be out in two, three at the most, four years. And they went, and you think that girl's going to wait for you? And I went, she told me she'd wait forever. We're, we're engaged. And, and they went, really? Forever's Dude, only look. four days. It's always, so the forever's always wrong. Uh, she said, we'd be together forever. Turns out forever, eight months, 12 days. Turns out it's three conjugal visits. <laughs> uh, and then she stopped showing. But the dogs are there. The dogs there. That's okay. <laughs> I put all of my hate and love in these things. Fun thing is I learned how to fuck the dogs during the visits. <laughs> <laughs> if you put a toilet paper roll up a dog's ass, <laughs> wet it. <laughs> now I smell like dogs. <laughs> in federal prison, but there was a bat, a bathroom, and they had like a wall, you know, on these dividers, and could, the guests could go into the men's and women's room. So Ivan, I said, look, and the lieutenant, and the guards kept going through there all the time to see what's going on to make sure we're doing anything naughty. So I had to wear either. a mini skirt and no underwear with her boobs almost hanging out. And I said, you know, we're not going to have a lot of time to do your told, right? Arguably. So she did, and she looked phenomenal. And I said, Ivan, you lean against that, you know, wooden separator divider between the Wait, bathrooms. Wait, pause for a second. That really is the dog just breathing into the lava. Like? <laughs> is that dog could talk about, kill me, please kill me? 
He said forever. I think Play he it means again? it. I think he means it. Also, that faces the visitor room. So if a guard tries to walk by, you kick your foot against the back of the wall, of the, the divider. So it'll give me a moment to quit doing whatever I'm doing and straighten myself up. So I have Maria back there. I have her against the wall. I'm just leaning against it with his visitor. And um, we're making out. I have a blouse off, her skirt up. I got my wiener out. I'm going to town. I figure I got a couple of minutes. Nope. Kick at the wall. I'm God. Damn it. And I had a blazing heart on. As luck would have it, I pull out because if you get caught having sex or anything like that, I think it's saying you're going to the hole. And the hole at TI sucks. It's like Alcatraz hole. So I pulled my wiener out and I had to shoot and I didn't want to get busted. Luckily, there was a mop bucket right by my leg. I'll pick this up. I mean, it's a bone. Oh, those are wind chimes. Luckily, there was a mop bucket with a mop in it right by the men's room. So I aimed my wreck at the mop bucket and fired, 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 fired. The white stuff. You want to get down? I mean, he is. He should write romance novels. He does that. Yeah, you got to cut that. Get that as a drop. That's our new. Fire, fire, that's our new. Fire, or, fire. That's our new orgasm drop. Oh, I'll be busting nuts like fire, 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 fire. So you know me. I look over. Dogs are looking at me. Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> My bucket. <laughs> My bucket. April Macy. Dogs. Alcatraz hole. Dogs there. <laughs> Uh, fire. What a shot. I shot a couple of big wads right into that <laughs> Problem is, it's floating on top of the water, and here comes it the lieutenant out. right around the corner. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is the day we found out that old Craig Glazer has buoyant jizz. Yeah. If my, they wouldn't burn my jizz at the stake for thinking it's a witch. My, my, my jizz lacks density. <laughs> I got light, it turns out I got light spunk. <laughs> You know the Dead Sea? Well, it's like that, but with my chest. <laughs> Turns out my ropes are more like tubes. <laughs> so my jizz ropes are laying on top of the thing like fun noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Quit Glazer thinking. I grab a handful, throw it on the wall like one of those spiders that walks down. So I grab my jizz, toss it like a wacky wall walker. It walks down. Dog's there. Parole officers come in. They're trying to play a game. They're betting on who's which risk. <laughs> wall walker. That was the thing I couldn't think of. Wacky wall walkers. Oh, fuck that visual is hilarious. My face hurts. All right. Keep it Let's playing. wrap it up. And fire, 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 fire. The white stuff. You want to get down? I think you like this story. Go ahead and get down. Junior's going to win. The dogs are so offended. Please stop telling the story into my fucking ear. I shot a couple of big wads right into that hot pocket. Problem is, it's floating on top of the water, and here comes the lieutenant right around the corner. And I pull my, uh, you wear Air Force uniforms in the federal prison, which are beige. So I pull my pants up, right? I mean, all this is in like seconds. Pull her against one, go play along. She's got her skirt down, so she's dressed. And I go, God damn you, I told you not to do that. You got to be on time next time, you jerk. And when I call, you be home. You be home. So we have, I have this pretend argument. She's going, Stop yelling at me. And the lieutenant goes, Hey, you two calm down. So he's focused on the argument and on the fact that cum is floating, you know, three feet down from his leg in the mop bucket. And all he has to do is look down, and I am fucked. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, what kind of, what kind I of bet guard no, no guards ever, no one ever has looked down at something like that and gone like, <laughs> that, he goes, anyway, guys, you uh, enjoy the rest of your video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that, is that cum floating on top of that bucket? He goes, the mop? Yeah. It just goes under it? He goes, the mover, he puts it on a knife and then goes, <laughs> that's pure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's cum. Oh, oh, mister, you just got yourself two days in the hole. Now, you know what the hole's like here. It's like the hole in Alcatraz. Ah, anyways. No also, dogs allowed. Also, no. Eat more pineapple. <laughs> also, someone had asparagus this afternoon. Mm. Oh, that? That's cum. <laughs> Oh, so you're going to tell me this is, he just goes and the thing comes up, just like tripping off his fingers. You're going to tell me that this goopy gobs? That's pine salt. You're telling me that's pine salt mixed with water. You're telling me, what is his words? You're telling me these three big gobs. What do you say? W uh, wads. Wads. You're going to tell me these wads are just random, uh, yeah. just random findings in a mop bucket? Listen, I've been at this prison 17 years. I've seen a lot of shit, and what I always know 
is when a bucket's full of jizz. <laughs> hey, are you two argue? Are you two fucking? Oh, y'all just arguing. Okay then. Okay, yeah. wait a second. Trying to trick Wheelie. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What's in that mob bucket right there? Uh, oh, nothing. What are you talking about? What are you, I don't know what you mean. No, right over here. No, I what? What, no. Are, what are these three big looking wad like things? You, you think they're big? I mean, these are massive. Yeah. They're floating. All right, bro to bro. <laughs> Those are my wads. I wish my dogs were here to see this. <laughs> Can you just snap a quick cell phone picture for my dogs? <laughs> It's 87. Can you take a Polaroid and take this back to my dogs? Please mail it to my dogs. Oh, they'd love, Junior would love this. The other one's got a pretty terrible upper respiratory infection he's dealing with. <laughs> he's a bit of a weezer. He's a bit of a weezer. <laughs> That's how you'll know which one's which. Fired, 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 fired. Go ahead a little bit. You want to get down? I shot a couple of big wads Keep going. right into that mob fire. We were past the wads. We know he calls Air Force uniforms in the federal Keep going. Religion. We're past the argument. So she's dressed. And I go, God damn you, I told you not to do that. You got me. And Lieutenant goes, hey, you two calm down. So he's focused on the argument and on the fact that calm is flowing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, three big wads. And all he has to do is look down, and I am fucked. Oh, Junior, you want to hear the end of the story? Come on up here. So, as luck would have it, he separated us from our fight, and she left, and I went back in the visiting yard. And um, I thought, come here, June. I thought that, you know, I'd done a good job, even though it was only one minute. I called my buddy, Peter Brown, who was a writer, who had given her a ride to the um, prison. And he goes, I've got bad news for you. Maria got a uh, ride this time. Two guys. She was in a stretch limo in the back seat. And when I pulled up, because they were visiting me too, Peter, he said, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but when I looked in the window after she left you, she was in the back seat with her top off and her boobs hanging off. And the guy was snorting lines of blow off her boobs. We're in the prison. Hold on. Maria. Hold on. In the prison parking lot? Well, she's all worked up from that fucking bathroom bunk. In the prison parking lot, she's getting blow done off her tits in the back of a limo. This is well, so... Well, that's what she gets for him yelling at her. And the... There's only a few seconds left. Let's oh, just God. It up. Yeah, let's just... I mean, that's... that's. Then we'll take our break and we'll come yeah, back to the end of the engagement. And to this day, I wonder where the hell did she go, that little tramp. Hashtag think about it, everybody. Think about what? What do you mean, think about what? Yeah. You go out of your way to concoct this crazy plan to have sex for five seconds where the girl is willing to bang a dude in prison. You're right. A, a, a former Maria Portia, do we find her? <laughs> I don't know if that's her. That's definitely not her. Is that Maria Portia? <laughs> no, I don't the know. only Maria Something... Portia. On... I looked up Maria Puerto... Miss Puerto Rica America. Nothing. And it's Maria De La Rosa. So that definitely not. He said it's Maria Portia. Definitely a fake story. Fired, 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 fired.